in the initial design of this place, one of the drivers was around collaborative learning. So the furniture that's been chosen here was chosen to enable that to happen. If we sort of ask ourselves what we want for young people when they graduate school, what do they need to be able to do when they move into the world of work, is they need to be able to collaborate, they need to be able to solve problems, they need to do that with other people, they need to understand what it is to network and to, to seek out solutions in different ways. They also need to understand things like emotional intelligence and I mean if they're the skills we want from kids then we need to think about what school should look like and I think we'll see more and more design in Australia that is flexible in that there'll be times when you need group, big groups together and times when you need small groups and also times when you need students to be by themselves or in very small groups. So I definitely think we'll see that be the way of full design going in Australia. It's really important that school design is driven by pedagogical design, by actual learning and teaching, by what we want learning to be like in schools. So for us, our teachers, again, not necessarily have changed here because they're all new, but for many of them from their previous contexts, they, yeah, definitely there's been a shift in their mindset about what learning and teaching can look like. In spaces like this, we have rooms and space is created for 20 students, 50 students, 75 students, and then flexible variations of that. You simply can't teach in a way that perhaps I was taught at school or the kids or the teachers taught uh, 10 years ago. And we really have a motto here that it's about learning by doing, and that's learning for us, as for me as the principal, for the leadership team and for the teachers, is about saying, well, we've got this beautiful new building, we've got flexible spaces, we've got furniture that's designed for collaboration. The question is how to get the best out of that. What I love to see is that there are kids um, who are together and students who are together, who are eyeballing one another in different ways in classes, who are sharing learning space around a, a table or around spaces of a building that's actually fit for collaboration rather than in a square room at the end of a corridor. The kids are responding really nicely. Whether or not, again, it's about engaging better or worse, it's actually about engaging differently, and I would say that's really positive. So the furniture that BFX provided for the Prone High School project has been a whole range of things, from the individual classroom chairs to tables, all of our free furniture. We were really clear about saying we want things that can be moved into different spaces in different shapes and sizes, and the driver all the time being enabling me the flexibility to create the learning environment that we want, that we know is right for kids. The feedback from teachers has been overwhelmingly positive um, and that feedback from them is about how nice it is to be in a brand new building, how nice it is to be in a space that's purpose-built for, for them. The feedback from the teachers is it's early days but it's been very positive. 